We're live. Welcome to the Arena Coop. This is Abukta. This is Murps. Welcome, welcome. We are playing Mage today. We are. We are doing Mage because we haven't done Mage in a long, long time before the last time we did Mage. So yes, we know we have done Mage in like six Arena Coops ago, but it is Mage time again. Um, and the other two classes we were offered. What are the other two classes we were offered? I have no idea. Well, we can look. <laughs> Uh, it is Priest, which we just finished playing, and Warrior, which we finished playing like two weeks before that. So, it's Mage, and we're happy about it, because we get to play a powerful class again, for once. <laughs> we usually don't get that, uh... Although, if you follow the coop, you'll know that we don't do well with Mage. No, we actually do really crappy with Mage. Yeah. And we do really crappy. We do even worse with Rogue, though. We do, which is so weird. Hmm. Um, recently, we've both been crushing it with rogues, right? You yeah. are averaging... Uh, More than 10 wins per run. And <laughs> I am as well. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm averaging like almost 11. It's yeah. just ridiculous. It's, um, yeah. And by recently, I mean like since TGC started. So not even yes. recently, just like in anything resembling this meta. Yeah. Um, but on the coop, and you know we're going to have like rogue next week. And you know we're going to get three wins with it. Because that's just oh, the way this works. Oh, God. Mm. But I have I have a good feeling about this one. Cody! Okay, all right. I trust your good feeling. I do. All right. Thanks for feeding the go, Dan. Uh, it also, me. if you guys are wondering, the <laughs> uh, the goat just collected the money for, uh, for October. Um, so thank you to everybody who has fed the goat uh, in in the month of October and for signing up. Um, we did coaching yesterday for Phil, who is our winner of the patron raffle to be coached. Full run, it went ten wins with a rogue, a rogue no less, um, and it was uh, it was really fun and hopefully it was educational as well. And uh, he was a uh, like he's a pretty good player. Um, I'm not sure if he's infinite, but if he's not, he's like very close. Yeah. Oh, we had um, uh, another sub as well. Oh, uh, what a poor decision. Uh, welcome to uh, three months in a row. Thanks for uh, supporting us. Uh, yep. Just thank you, everybody, for supporting us. We've we've said this before um, also, earlier Ninja on the Light Forge. You forgot Ninja Bus. Also Ninja Bus. Also, I turned off the sound because yes. it's the Arena Coop. So you, you call them out when you see them. Sounds good. All right, Ninja Bus and poor decision. Thank you guys so much. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Yeah, um, but uh, what was I saying? <laughs> you were I was talking saying about something. And the I was talking about Phil and the coaching of the goats, right? So that's at the six dollar level, and we're we may already be there, and if not, we're very close to getting Twitch sub coaching once a month as well for three people, uh, but each on much shorter runs. Um, but the Patreon coaching is always a full run, so we get the full experience. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's the goat. And oh, oh, what I was about to say is that all the money from September and October are going to buy Murps a new computer so he can stream uh, good uh, uh, now. <laughs> so eloquent. I, I'm really pretty good with words. I don't know what is up with it today. Add look to no stupid. Magic I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start this mage run. Let's do it. You're going to share your All screen, right. or should I just watch this stream? I don't know. Am I not? Oh, God, I'm not sharing my screen. Mm -mm. It's been uh, some... It's amazing how bad we can be at streaming after having done it for so long at this point. Mm. Well, we're not that uh, seasoned at it yet. That's yeah, true. Uh, Matter Bomber, easy pick here, I think. <laughs> oh, God. I, I'm so... Uh, I have PTSD from Matter Bomber, but... Casino sure. Mage. Okay, all right. Casino Mage. I can get Casino behind that. Casino Mage. Frost Elemental. That's not <laughs> the, random, but the, it's the good. Most, the most random thing. Sure. Let's freeze something. Uh, let's freeze more things. Yeah, I think that'd be a good choice. Uh, there's only one good card here. I yeah. think we take it. Okay. Again, there's only one good card here. I don't think we have a choice. All right, fine. This is not a good start to the draft. What? Okay, come on. We have two freezes, two taunts, and a matter bomber. How much more control can we get? We could take a flame lance. Okay. We can take a flame uh, flame lance. Sure. Oh, such control. 
Uh, uh, well, now no, no longer crowd. such control, but favorite. crowd favorite. Yeah. Okay. That's a card, right? That is a card, yes. Like, we don't have a curve, but otherwise we're doing pretty well. Cavaldier yeah. Raider. Sure, I guess we have one, two, three. We are. We have two fives so far. This would be a third five. Okay. Yeah. Cavaldia <laughs> Raider is just really good. I, I can't take a Dragonkin Sorcerer over it. Yeah. Doctor Stein says the only person I've seen making Matter Bomber work is Advicta. I, I make Matter Bomber do my uh, do good work. Yeah. Uh, Cavaldia Raider. Yeah, I, I think so. It's just like the Clockwork Gnome is generally an okay card. It really doesn't fit into this deck because we do need some card advantage. Yep. To play this way. So now, how desperate are we? We could be taking a Puddle Stomper. Um, we don't have any twos. It's pick nine. But Force Tank Max is like a beast for this kind of playstyle. It is. Uh, and you can see Hearth Arena kind of adjusting it. So Hearth Arena is saying we'll still get enough twos, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I, I, You're trusting in the Hearth Arena? I, I'm trusting enough. Do you trust? I trust. Okay, let's trust. All right, that's a three. We can use a three. Sure. Yeti. Okay. We're uh, picking up some heavy cards, but that's uh -huh. fine. Oh, Micro Machine or Silverhand Knight. Are we going to blow another two? Again, it's like a really premium high drop versus yeah. uh, a crap two. I think I'm going to go with the two this time, though. I'm going to go with the two as well. Yep. Yeah. Like, the, if you're wondering why Hearth Arena doesn't carry up so many fives, it's because you don't play Matter Bomber on five. You don't play Cavalier Raider on five. You don't necessarily play Flame Lands on five. Right. So it's not we counting them as five drops. Yeah, so we don't not... actually have five drops. Right. So your deck is heavy, but I'll go safe and take the micro here. Micro's really bad for our deck, though. It is. Can we take this overhand knight and like just pray harder? Well, like I said, I think this run, I'm. we obviously work together, but I'm going to let you spearhead this. Okay. Well, okay. I believe. And I believe in your belief. So Ooh. we collectively just believe. Spell Slayer or Scarlet Crusader? Are we going casino? <laughs> I think we are going casino. Ah, but Scarlet Crusader is just like good period. Yep. Mm. Spell Slinger. <sighs> it's so nice that our mods are only adding the best quotes. We're we're avoiding that. Let's avoid the RNG. Go Scarlet. Wow. Okay. Sure. I believe in you, and okay. I believe in this garment. Uh, Spell Slayer has a nice synergy with Crowd Favorite, which is okay. why it's getting the nod here. And normally they're pretty similar cards. I just really don't want the RNG. Like I know yeah. you think we have a bad deck. I think we have a great deck. Really? Okay. All right. I, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely letting you spearhead this then, because you you're seeing something, and I believe in that. This is a belief week. Okay. Let's believe in the Gadgets and Jouster winning Joust. Uh, okay. Yes, I've gone so far into believing that I actually think I can win Joust. Okay, sure. You're due. You're due. I am. I am due. There's the two. Our first two drop on pick no uh, as our 15th pick. Fantastic. Uh, here's the Argent Squire that'll help us with the hero powers. It's found in a lot of 12 win decks, such mm -hmm. as this one. Yep, yep. Um, Anti Killbot's actually not bad for this either, but I, I, I am kind of feeling the pressure. And I think Hearth Arena is as well, of like actually having something to do. Yeah. Adulta, hey, why do you guys choose a goat for the channel? Goats are cool, man. Dude, goats are amazing. Mechwarper, another two. See, we're getting there. There we go, okay. We're getting there. Oh, Goblin Blast Mage. Talk about Casino Mage. Okay, let's do it. Well, you talked about Casino Mage, and then you passed up the Slinger. The other bomber, right? Very yes, good. yes, fantastic. Okay, you're right. This deck is good. Hey, it's working out. Polymorph Boar. It's a card. <laughs> As opposed to those two. <laughs> right. Oh gosh, yeah, definitely. All right, Silent Knight. All right, it's a great control kind of like card, and we need yeah. a three. Wow. Okay, this curve is working out. Doesn't Abelta own two goats or something? He owns one goat. In Arkansas. Scarlet Crusader. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now we've curved out on threes. We just wow. need two more one drops, and then we have like a super curve. All right. Arcane yeah. Intellect is perfect. The super Plateau. Uh, yeah. I it think an Arcane Intellect deck. is good. Yeah. Let's reload with uh, that. Come on. Come on. More twos. More twos. Yeti's fine. 
Yeah, Yeti is good. More twos, more twos. There's a two. Perfect. That's a good two. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but it is a two. It's a good two. All right. Saboteur, uh, just to really solidify our three drops and uh, being much better than the other two cards. It's a pretty solid three. Uh, good stats, good battle cry. We ha Also, we have a oh, lot of crowd members. Oh, our fifth two. We got it. And it's a mech. It's a oh, chug. It's so good. Chugger so is good. so good. How do you like this deck now, huh? It, it's pretty good. I, look, you believed and I believed in you. And mm, there we go. The it's the tr uh, transfer principle. There's a better name for that for transitive. both people. Transitive principle. There we go. Water elemental. <gasps> and the other force tag max. We're going to double force tag max this. Are we? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, what, we you have an Elven Archer in this kind of deck. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Well, those are our double win conditions. Two yep. force tank maxes. And for our final card, we get another two. Uh, how many twos do we have? Let's count. We have five twos. I wouldn't mind six, and it's one that is, you know, you can kind of use yeah. late game, right? Yeah, it's not like, in the late game it gives you like an extra damage, basically. Right, so it's basically, uh, I don't mind it. Alright. I'm trying to figure out if Arcane Blast works more to what our deck is doing. I know. Um, it's not bad at all. But... Hmm... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm tempted for Arcane Blast. Right? Yeah, because it, it we have two work. ones as well. Yeah, I thought we had uh, more removals than we did. We actually don't have that many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think okay. we take the Arcane Blast. Sure, I believe in you. All right, we got it. We got our awesome mage deck. What do you guys think? Everyone in chat, let's uh, let's wait for the mods to make a how many wins poll. But I think this is going. I'm very confident in this draft. Cool, sounds good. Um, so yeah, I guess. Oh wow, the score is a little bit low. Actually, it no, is, that makes sense. It, it makes a lot of sense. The yeah. score is low. It's mid range, which is like one of the worst archetypes right now. It is. Um, but I feel very good about this deck. Okay. Like so I'm seeing nine wins. Maybe wow. ten. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. Um, I'm a little bit less optimistic, but I believe in you, so I'm going to believe the same. Boom. Nine to ten Done. wins. Done. Nine to ten wins. This is like so not how good this deck is as a, nope. in terms of a, a adding up all of its parts, but I think its parts work together very well. Yeah, I think it does, and I see a lot of people are saying. You have no AOE, you don't have any blizzards or flame strikes. That's true, but this deck comes together minion wise, as in curve wise, mm -hmm. kind of. You see how you curve out, you see the early, mid, and late game options. And that's not something that is present in every single arena deck. So seeing yeah. that here is good. Um, yeah. Uh, Chief yeah. Auto Parts, thanks for subbing three months in a row. Oh, thank you so much. And oh, who's calling out the subs now? Yeah, I, I, I was too busy believing in you, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll believe in you less and check, check, check chat a little more. Call, believe man. in chat. Believe in our subs a little more. Believe in me a little less. Yeah. Um, so, Chief Auto Parts, thank you for your support, man. I hope you're here in the collective belief. All right. All right. We're going. We're running go. with this. You can watch how pure skill and pure belief added together is going to overcome a low deck tier score. Yep. I like and this. A, a unfavorable archetype in this meta. Advocta, if Arena Warrior started with one extra mana, would they still be terrible? Th that would be really good. <laughs> that would be the best class. That would be the best class then. Yeah, that's um, not the way to balance that, it. It's not, I mean, that, that's <laughs> way good of an effect. Um, a free ramp for a class? Like, yeah. warriors are bad, but they're not that bad. <laughs> they still they have, have a... access to neutral cards. Yeah, yes, basically. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing. You can spectate, right? Oh, uh, yes, at some point I can start spectating you. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay.
Okay, I can stop sharing. Uh, yes. And the pyro and the scarlet look pretty good. Yep. All right, didn't get our one drop. That's okay. We're gonna have a good time with this pyro. Are we? Is nah, that what we're looking for? Not good time with the pyro necessarily. Okay, that's cool. Oh, such a good time with the pyro. All right. So I, I'm not in the game yet, but I will be. And I believe that you will have um, a good lead once I get in there. Okay. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I could drop the Murloc Tidehunter for some the hero power and, like, you know, do whatever. But uh, I'm just going to Wild Pyro, let him get the trade, let him drop a 2-drop. We'll drop a 3-drop. Like, yeah, I think we that's curve out good. well enough. Because if you do more like Tidehunter, he hero powers down the two one. He takes his three two into the one one. We drop, we ping it. We drop an Argent Squire, and then yep. the next turn we're like a little screwed. Oh yeah. what? He coined out a two with no follow up. Oh come on man, you're better well, than we, that. We are. I mean the... he's not, but <laughs> he just showed that oh, he's not. My... Oh savage. <laughs> Scarlet Crusader. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't re Okay, yes, that sounds pretty good. It's taking me a while to get in this game. Oh, man. Um, but, uh, Divine Shields, I just realized we have a ton of Divine Shields, and we're going to be very, very vulnerable to, uh, to some things. Um, okay. Uh, could remove it, ping it, and drop a Murloc Tidehunter and say you can't remove all this and if you swipe that's fine we'll just set up again and then right or and then next time we could do like water and we yeah argent squire or something so yeah or what die. happens if we just drop the water and we he no you, you know what I, I think that's fine i think that's fine mm -hmm. i think your move is yeah because if he just drops the water LA, i'm kind of afraid of a swipe more i think yeah okay <laughs> Like, sure. We get to set up better to a swipe by doing it this way. Yep. I think that is good. Yeah, because if you do it the other way, we no longer have the water Ellie to set up. This way, what he's swiping is our face, right? So he's losing a part of his swipe. Yep. Like a big part of his swipe. Oh, he's getting that face damage in. Whoa. Chinchillas, what's going on? Sorry, I'm going to check up on them. Okay. I think they sense that the swipe is coming. Or not. Alright. Um, well, this is a pretty good time to... No, it's not that good of a time to prevent him from, uh, from hero powering. Like, it'd be nice if he stopped hero powering, but I guess we could use the water elemental to do it, because we have no ping target, and next turn we can 3-3. Three, three. Like, that's my read that he doesn't have swipe. But even if he does have swipe, this is not a very good turn to use swipe. And we'll just set up again. And then his face will be frozen. Bathe in flame. So he drops a Druid of the Flame. And then he's gonna remove our 2 1. That's cool. All right. I had That's no idea what that was about. We we're just kind of going crazy. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna head to his face and freeze everything and drop more stuff. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. There's no need to use the saboteur yet because we're freezing his face. So he's not hero powering anyway. And he put down a two five, which you know we could trade into it, but we're running out of cards. And this deck does run out of cards, right? It's not a control deck. It definitely so we does. do have so, to, yeah. Have you, like, because uh, I've just, you know, uh, have we tested for swipe or have we sort of made a read on that? I don't have a read on him. He coined out a two drop with no follow up. <laughs> I think that's fair. So, yeah, he's had several opportunities to swipe on various levels of efficiency, but 
I just I don't know whether any okay. of that is is happening. You know. Right. That's fair. Um. So we could start the Cavaldier ping train. I think that's a pretty good train. Or we could do a bunch of trades, Saboteur and Cho and Yeti, and start the Cavaldier ping train next turn. But I like the Cavaldier ping train this turn. Yeah, you get it one turn early, and plus it prevents. I mean, it doesn't pre like it, it presents a additional yeah. problem for him. He doesn't have enough mana to Starfire and Hero Power yet. Yeah. I enjoy raiding. So, pretty sure he's not going to have a way to take care of this. Yeah, so on 7 mana, what could happen? Like, Ancient of War? That doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, he has the Recycle. That's cool. Yeah, definitely. We just kind of traded turn for turn. Mm -hmm. just now we drop just stuff. drop stuff. Yeah, drop stuff and go. Mm -hmm. Kind of a waste of the Saboteur's ability, but that's fine. If he iron uh, whatever's, we'll, we'll bore it and uh, win the game. Yep. I'm surprised he didn't want to remove that water only on that turn that he could. Yeah, I was surprised that he chose to kill the other guy too. But so yeah, he just it's... loses on the board. Just to fit the theme. Definitely. Let's see what is up with these chinchillas today. They're very active. Kill him with the boar, show all our cards. Whenever you finish the game having just used up all your mana and all of your cards, you know you've played it at the perfect tempo. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of Huffer lethals. It's one of our few uh, reach. All right, this is gonna be a bit tough because we have uh, we have control and we have freezes and stuff, but we don't have a board clear and we start a little slow. Uh, like I'm going to keep all this. Maybe I don't keep the blast mage. I'm gonna try to go for two, two, three. So I'm gonna throw away the blast mage actually. Alright, so this is what good. do we got here? Wow. I threw away a Blast Mage to try to search for more twos. That but... skillful, uh, skillful Mulligan in there. Mm -hmm. So, my problem is that the Mech Warper is not going to get any value if I coin it out. No. Chugger? I can do nothing, and next turn... Play a and matter bomber and hope it kills something. You could, or next turn you do mech warper and snow chugger. Sure, and then followed by a saboteur. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, sure. Because if you coin out the mech warper, you what you trade and you drop a snow chugger or a mad bomber. Like it doesn't. No, like I mean, if you're playing standard, you might as well then just coin out the chugger and then fall by like bomber or something. So that's like yeah. kind of the standard. But you're not if getting you, value out of the Mech Warper. Yeah, if you coin out the Mech Warper, it's good if he only has a 2-3. But yep. otherwise, it's... Actually, no. Let's just coin it out. Play standard? Okay, Yeah, sure. let's play standard. Yeah. The other way would have put us in the same spot the next turn, except we have no ability to attack. You know, it gives us a little flexibility to not be removed off the board, but the hunter's not good at removing three damage off the board on turn two anyway. Like he needs a quick shot. Like it was a little too defensive of a way to play. Um. Well, we can't mad bomber this, so I'm gonna snow chug out. Sure. 
Um, so by playing standard, I thought last turn we were just gonna coin out the chugger. Oh, instead of the mech warper? Mm -hmm. Since yeah. the mech warper doesn't really give us anything. It turns out it didn't matter. Yeah. Um, but with the mech warper, basically. Uh, okay, well. Shall we, put a we have prevented what he wants to do the next turn. We win. Well, we're not sure of that. Uh, multi shot is bad here, right? But. I was totally kidding. He does not want to hero power this turn. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, what I'm saying is we're. Uh, this is. Like, it, it could easily turn against us. Uh, the hero power is definitely not in play here. But multi shot mm -hmm. is. Uh, it's, it's not. He great. dropped a three drop that dies to everything we, on the board. It's very good for us. A multi shot, and we water Ellie, and we have a way to you know move forward with the water Ellie. I think it's very good. Oh, what? That can't be right. You got to kill the big thing. He is really afraid of us putting another mech out. I guess we just. Play the water alley and see what he does. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So let's, uh, I guess, all the way to the right. I don't think it matters. It doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't really matter. So this is good. We're the aggressive party against a hunter. Yeah. So we play the water element, uh, elemental instead of the yeti because after he kills anything, like the water elemental's damage will be good enough. Yeah. And its health makes it less susceptible to like explosive shot, that, you know, kill command, anything like that. Not that we care. Everything's frozen. We're just gonna keep going face. Yep. So that trog is just out of commission for an, an entire turn. Mm -hmm. Thing to consider. Oh, nice. Good curve consideration. Uh, do they really Yeti and Joust? No, so you're thinking about the ping plus a three, right? To just make the board Yeah, clean. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's... his guy is frozen the next turn anyway. Yep. Okay, okay so which so one do you want to use to kill? I want to use the Water Elemental. I don't want us to leave anything at one health against a... a uh, 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 okay, honor. sure. I think that is fair. Because it doesn't seem like he's had weapons, and even if he does, I don't know how that really helps him at this point. Yeah, I don't really care about weapons, because he'll take more face damage. Yeah. We're at the point where his face is sufficiently damaged. That's a nice way to put it. Yep. So, he realizes he's about to lose. Nothing he does matters. And we're about to... Yep. It's the kill command. Um, this is fine. We will just spread out and, uh, and go face. Go face? Yeah. How are we going to spread out here, though? Uh, Yeti and Relic Tide Hunter. Okay, sure. I think that's fine. It gives them... I mean, Murloc gives them hounds, but... I guess that doesn't really matter. So if he has hounds, he has five hounds. Um, he gets to distribute... Let's see, one, two, three, four, he needs five. More. He always needs more. He do, Yeah, he always needs more. And we have these, like, bombers that do yep. stuff. Is he going to try to set up for uh, some sort of explosive play? <laughs> I so mean, he could maybe. like bump yeah. the 3-3 three, three into the Yeti, do some sort of... He has to clear. Know. He has to clear. And we're going to play right into any explosive trap he does anyway. Because yeah. we're not playing for the board. Oh, Alright, so yeah. he's dead. Yep. 
He's dead. Well played. <laughs> Sneak attack. Just, just to be an extra yeah, dick. Do it. Yep, ping that, polymorph boar, go face. Gotta kill him with his own huffer. Just to show him how many ways we had him. <laughs> and if you could have mad bomber to, I mean you could have just said mad or bomber we believe in you and gone no, no, no. But I need to be in control boar is, uh, that's definitely yeah. yeah you do want to actually kill him with the boar because he is a hunter <laughs> definitely like Betrayed you gotta establish it. that dom dominance yeah that was a very like ed 2 brutus moment <laughs> 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 In like the dumbest uh, way possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, keep the jouster. Yup. Keep the jouster. Toss everything else. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Well, something to do. Mm hmm. Alright, oh, yeah. so one, that's three, three. Good. Yep. Yeah, that's looking good. And we're gonna win the Joust. We have just too many big cards. Except that one. Look, I was trying to be confident about winning Joust for once, you know? Maybe it helps yeah, send no, stuff no, into the universe. Sound confident, though. Uh, Confidence knows, okay? It, whoa. Oh, hey, hey, it worked. Uh, we're coining out the Scarlet. I guess. Yeah, I I guess. Yeah, followed up with a saboteur. Could yeah. Murloc Tide Hunter. He's not gonna do anything. Um, no, I I think the Scar Crusader is good for next turn. Yeah. Like this puts a lot of pressure out there. It uh it takes care of any three drop he has. And then we can saboteur as a just as a four three. Play our Yeti on curve. Because otherwise, uh, you play the Murloc Tide Hunter if you want to coin out the Yeti. You need to still draw a two drop. Um, Another Crusader. It's just so yeah. safe against anything turn yeah, four. Yeah, right? and then we kill our one one. Yes. And this is when he knew we were gonna drop something else with Divine Shield. He's like, I'm just gonna save this Blood Knight. Not we should play. wait. We have uh, more stuff with Divine Shields. Our whole deck is Divine Shields. We so out Divine true. Shield any Paladin. Oh, crap. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Alright. This is not good. Nope. We just got owned by an Annoyatron. What to do? What to do? Jeez. That Your is chinchillas, busy. stop abusing them. I'm sorry, man. I kind of just want a Yeti. Me too. Just Yeti and pass. I know. I know. I, I, don't, I don't see anything. That Annoyatron just wrecked us. Yeah, like I would even I would throw one of the three ones in, but then Yeti. Yeah, I think so too. Join or die. Chinchilla's mad at Advocta? Maybe. The amount that that thing dominated us is yeah. just ridiculous so we do that when you need to always pop the shield so he doesn't buff it because he's a paladin yeah um but then we didn't go farther to keep him on the side of have to clear the board um so now we're paying this down 
we're killing it with a four five and we're trading the three one in and then we're playing like a saboteur saboteur okay yeah there's no need to go gung-ho with the origin square more like no, that under combo no no Okay, so if you bust that, it becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, we can... Yeah, I don't care if he buffs it at all. No, yeah, let's go not... for it. Yeah. Still Great. needs something else. It's fine. We double trade, drop our Murloc Tide Hunter and Yeti. Yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Join or die. Yep. So this is good. Uh, we're, you know, we're still on the board. We have one more card than our opponent. Opponent has five cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six cards. That's good. And for six, um, I'm counting the undrawn card that we will eventually get. Truth mm -hmm. is my shield. That's perfect. Yep. Great draw for us. Don't have a consecration and a sword. <laughs> well, if he has a consecration and a sword, then we force tank, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's still not horrible, but it's it still is pretty bad. Good. I agree. Wow, hammer That's for great. one damage. I kind of want to use my hero power. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So rather than force tank, I throw the 2 1 in and I matter bomber. I wonder. See, I'm debating whether or not you 2 1 hero power and then you matter bomber for a greater chance of the bombs like killing off whatever drops from it. But, There's very little chance it's going to Yeah, there is very little. And then you can, like, um, cloak that thing afterwards, too. Have to do. Or you could just do that, ping it, and then Mad Bomber, and... No, that doesn't... Mm. Count me in! All right, Chris. Thanks for feeding the goat. Thank you so much, man. Whatever you, you know do what? to... It's too late. Too late. Got it. It's face. The, ro the rope decided it. Yeah. This is just the, well, I'm not going to go into these stats and probabilities. I'm just going to do this. Ha. Huh. You are no not HP saved. You. Mm hmm. It's going to pop it. You gonna... should. It's going to go face. Really? Go really? Well, uh, we, we start off with... Uh, I don't really want to... Wait, 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 wait. The shield. Remember the shield? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so wait, we're, so eight... we're almost we're winning, okay? We really need yeah. to do this. We're almost winning. We'll cloak afterwards. <sighs> okay. So you're once we hero power his win. face, we're one damage away from winning. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, do it. Just go for the win. Okay, you could go for the win again. <laughs> no, the cloak field guarantees the win. <sighs> Fine. Runs out on me. The light protects me. The Mad Bomber has three bombs. It was very unlikely to actually give us the win. This way, even if he heals, he also needs to taunt. Yeah, this is the thing, right? You put him in a position, and we are... He has 11 damage. Um, so that thing needs... Yeah, he, he needs, needs to do so many things. He needs to do so many things. 
Yeah. yeah. So if he healed, he needed to like heal, taunt, just do everything possible. He, he needs to heal, taunt, and clear except for the 8-7. Yep. Can I help you, Which is just not enough. Okay. Well Let me get back. He gets some cards. Oh, he doesn't let his bomber to see if it would have hit. Alright. It's 3-0. Look how good this deck is. So good. 3-0 capable. Good. 3-0 capable. I'm a little bit worried about my chinchillas. I'm, I'm a little them. worried about them. We all know your chinchillas by now and how much they riot. They don't riot like this. No. What happened to them? Did you move them? Or uh, did they just stop? Well, I moved them back to their spot because, you know, I moved them for the light forge. Right. They're usually but I mean, okay like, what I mean is right now they haven't rioted in a while. I know. Are they good now? Well, okay, the curve is good. I think you got your plays. I'm going to check up on them one more time. Okay. I'll be right back. Job done. D1V979 says, They're too hyped for the 12 wins this deck is going to go. Thinking there's a better way, but I don't think there actually is. Hmm. We're just gonna saboteur this. Okay. He still has the coin. Saboteur and. We could Silent Knight go face, but then we have no way to get back on. So we got a saboteur and trade. Yeah. I think trading definitely happens. But now he coins, we're kind of in the same spot. Yeah, I know. Wanted, dead or alive. Mm, okay. That's a good one. It's a good card. Can't say the same for everything. Um, Silent Knight, Gadget Zen, Jouster. Yeah, I think so. So we go small instead of playing the Blast Mage, not just to save the Blast Mage's power, but to prevent him from getting a, a easy way out of this. Yep. I really want to go face, because we have this Frostbolt. And this like, Hammer of Wrath, for that matter. I don't care about that one, too. Mm, so you're saying we're going to use one of those anyways next turn, almost? Mm. Yeah, right, a really Goblin Blast Mage on turn 5. Or you could do something like paying with the Silent Knight. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, the Punish here is... I, I, it's not... I don't see a huge Punish. Mm -hmm. He does still have the coin, so something could happen. Like, 5 mana? Like, this Hammer of Wrath will eventually anti-tempo ourselves, but I don't feel like against a mage, we're going to uh, be drawing very well. That's excellent. Wow. He's gonna ping off the 1-1. One, one. Maybe we are just empty goblin class maging. Well, that... yeah. We got a little assist from... that. Yeah. Okay. We're empty goblin blast maging. Definitely. Just to get ahead on the board. Mm-hmm. Murps looks like a ninja. Why, thank you. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Hammer ping. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
We could play this game. Five four into that thing. We go face with the two two. Cold Creamy Milk says, Adulta, I work in audio video and I really enjoy editing. Your YouTube arena runs are some of my favorite favorite videos, but the editor in me wants to make so many tiny changes. Are you guys looking for editing help? Uh sure. Send us an email. Um yeah. we, we've been getting a ton of twelve one runs that need editing. Uh oh, wow. Pretty good. Uh, which one do you want to give them? Nullifier or Kieran? Uh, huh. I guess Kieran we can just frostbolt it if we need to. Yeah. Okay. But Nullifier we can just... No, Nullifier is actually really annoying. Yeah. Just give him the Kieran. Well, now we can Nullifier behind it, actually. Yeah, definitely. It's good. Because we could hit it and then ping next turn. I think mm -hmm. that's fine. Ping that and we could frost deli something big. So. The problem is we seem to be facing. Mm. We're facing a control mage that's going to outcard us. Yeah. Like, that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, I can't matter bomb with this. Freeze it and just do what we said we were going to do. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. So once again, we're getting back to that problem that we were talking about. Is this just... Yeah. We're playing a value control or oriented game with... Arcane Missiles? He just decided he didn't want the coin. Okay. That's cool. Um, we have a Frostbolt Pink can take care of one of them. Frostbolt Ping, yes. And then... Or you want to Polymorph Boar one of them? Trade the two one in. Could do that. And then just drop like a Fen Creeper. Yeah. 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 The, uh, yep. Fen Creeper contests. So we still have those two Force Tank Maxes, right? Mm-hmm. And we have Arcane Intellect, which is two cards. Yes. Double Fireball. All right, well, this Mad, Mad Bomber will be okay. All right, we could win on card advantage. Definitely. Mm, drop the Mad Bomber. Ooh. That's a good hit. All right. Uh, we'll Arcane Intellect. First? Yes. Yeah. Ping's definitely happening. Yep. So ping that, see if it's like some sort of duplicate or effigy. It's not. Um, and we've also played. Um, we could so, frostbolt the three six right now. Like uh, yeah, it could be a spell bender, right? Yeah. Um, or we can make uh, Warper and Arcane Argent Squire. Like that technically gives them a flame strike, but I, don't, I guess I don't really care if that's no, a flame I, strike. I don't think you care about that. Yeah, and I don't care about the Mech Warper warping out or anything right now either. No, it, it's pointless. We we don't have that many Mech, mech Synergies in the first place, and on turn yeah. ten, it is certainly. Useless. Could be a spellbender, it could be something that Great. Oh, Great. We must cleanse the sun well. Totally okay. Just force tank max and trade the three two. Yeah. Do I even frost? It doesn't do anything. I don't think. Like he can freeze your force tank by pushing it in, but like yeah. I, I mean, it's it's more that it burns this because the ping's not going to matter. It's probably it's almost certainly a counter spell. 
Well, it's we not a counter spell. It, it, it's spell bender because we cast it, cast arcane intellect into it. Oh, that's right. Wait, so what the hell is it? I mean, we haven't gone face yet. All right. So just be careful with, like, going face. Okay, I guess we'll. That's <laughs> that's a problem though, right? It is, but we're still just playing for board, right? We can just keep on putting out stuff. But it, it's it's up to you. It's up to you. I think whatever you want to do is fine. So it could be Spellbender, Vaporize, Ice Block, or Ice Barrier. What you want. Okay. Well, he's not gonna like that. Frostball, Arcane Blast, kill the Drop. one two with our seven seven. Yeah, we can't afford to go face right now. Well, I could just ping it. What's you he could just do? ping it, yep. It saves a card better that way. Alright. I still like where we are. Let's see what he chooses to play. Alright, he just gives up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It could have just been like an ice barrier, you know? Something yeah. that he knows is not going to lead him to victory. <laughs> yeah, um, and the cards he drew could have been like two drops or something, you know? Or he's yeah, just like, ah, we're dead. But So for those of you questioning why um, shouldn't you have Arcane Blast first? Well, we changed our mind, right? We went with the ping after. Um, we were just like, yeah. no, no, we're, we're just going to ping that. Yeah, ping so that. that's definitely, like, if you were going to play both of them, yes, you should have Arcane Blasted first. But yeah. we weren't definitely going to play both of them. We knew the frostbolt was getting played. 